What's going on YouTube? Mac from Garage MC here, and uh, in this video, we're going to open up a package that came in for the 400EX. Um, it's something I bought off eBay. We're actually not going to use it on the quad after the news we got the other day, if you don't know what that is. What are you doing? You're not even paying attention to the build, so I don't even know why you're watching this video, but thank you anyway. So, without further ado, let me show you what we got. We got another box. Um... This is going to be a quick video, guys. Just going to unbox it, let you guys know what you can expect in these boxes if you order this. Little clue, it's from eBay. And I'm going to give you one more clue when we open the box before I show you what it is. Stick around to the end. We also have great news. We got another quad for the channel. Um, I posted a video, a short about it for maybe an hour, and then I deleted it. So if you didn't get to see it, you're not going to know what I'm talking about, but... I'll give you a couple clues throughout the video, and I'm not going to actually show it to you, but through the clues, I want you in the comments to guess what quad we got. So, stick around. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so just to let you know, you know, I'm gonna, I'll, give you, I'll give you a couple clues. There's no plastics on it right now, because you know me, I can't just leave stuff the way I get it. But, um, just so you know, oh, oh, you got a little sneak peek of a, of a radiator there, oh man. Uh, I'm going to mess this all up, aren't I? Some of you slick ones might even know what type of thumb throttle that is if you really look. But there's the other organ donor 400X frame. There's my other quad that you guys know or should know by now. My garage is a total mess right now, guys. My The neighborhood I live in does like a annual yard sale. And I've had so much stuff and it started raining yesterday. I had to just throw it all in the garage. But we're still going to get a video to you guys. Um... If you could tell, it's got four tires. See, one, two, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You got a little sneak peek at a headlight. Oh, sh oh, sh oh, shit. You guys might know what that is. Damn it. I messed this all up. Let's unbox this box. All right, so let's get into this box, guys. I got this from eBay. It was, uh, I think it was like $95 or something like that. Um, I don't even know what I was thinking ordering this, but, uh, you know, we're, we're not going to use it. Maybe I'll do a giveaway on the channel for it for one of you other guys that maybe want to upgrade your 400X. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get in this and see what we got, okay? There we go. For the price I paid for this, it actually, actually the uh, packaging is uh, rather nice. I think if you ordered this and it came in a trash bag or something, it'd probably be about half price because it's probably half of their production cost just to get this stuff out to everybody. So, right off the bat, since it's the Organ Donor 400EX, um, we got a heart for it. That's what it looks like. It looks like some medical transport container. Um, but, oh, wait, wrong way. So, here's your first clue to what's in this box. Dog shit, that's great. Dog shit, what a clue. All right, so now that you got a good idea of what's in this box, let's see how it comes. Ah. More packing material. That's what we got, guys. We ordered bubble wrap for the 400X and some piston rings. Um, just kidding. Anyway, here we go. First, right off the bat, it's 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 packaged nice. It's nice and tight in there. It. it this was all taped together real, real tight. So, you know, in shipping, it's definitely not going to get damaged. But we got piston rings. We also have a Nomura 11 to 1 compression piston, 89 millimeter. So, well, 88.95, it says on there. You guys can, you guys can see that. There we go. Well, focus 88.95 millimeter. It's got the coated piston skirts. Uh, Nimura claims that that does something great for heat and all this, and it probably does, but I'm not going to find out because I'm not going to run this. So, anyway, comes with the rings, and there's nothing else in there. This is actually our new cylinder here. It's a uh, styrofoam, it's, you know, it's a little loose might smoke a little bit but um you know i guess we'll find out or will we um all right 
next thing, obviously, let's grab this. Cylinder, bored out to 89 millimeters, obviously. Um, as far as these cylinders goes, guys, uh, I mean, it's a mass-produced item, so, I mean, I, you'd have a hard time telling me that most of these probably aren't made in the same factory anyway. Uh, obviously, you know, unless you order like a OEM Honda cylinder, I don't even know if you could still get one of those for a 400EX, but I mean, I don't see why not. They made it for, what, 2009 to 2014 on the 400EX and is the same engine on the XR400, so... I mean, I don't see why not, but usually when a part is mass produced and there's so many years to cover the same model and it's the same part, the quality's there because th there's there's millions of these made. So anyway, cylinder's nice. The, the packaging was okay. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. The packaging was excellent. Let, let me not undersell it. It was the packing was excellent on this. The price on this kit on eBay was. Uh, $89 plus tax, you know, and the whole eBay thing, free shipping, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, if you guys are looking for something like this, if you guys can use the link. That's great. It helps the channel out. Um, I am trying to do bigger and better things with this channel. I'm still learning how to edit. I'm still, uh, I don't even know how tags are used in the video description. Like, I'm trying to figure all this stuff out as I go. And, um, you know, it's getting better exponentially. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm one of those guys that likes to see results right now. I'm very impatient when it comes to the things I want. But anyway, such is life. So, here's the cylinder. It's in great shape. Obviously, brand new. Um, and this other little... This this was the only flaw in the whole packing. This this container here that had the, the, um, <clears throat> the wrist pin for the piston. Can't even think anymore. Oh. It comes with a spark plug with absolutely no writing on it. That's uh, that's great. Um, probably not gonna, you know, well, I'm not gonna use this anyway. But I mean, they might as well just give you this cheap for this part. This kit, excuse me. They might as well give you this kit for a couple dollars cheaper and just keep their spark plug because this is, it's you know, I got a special place for this thing. I'm not gonna even tell you what that is, but anyway. Oh, let me put that in the box. Let me put that back in the box, guys. You know you don't want that to get damaged. And we also have our wrist pin clips, sir clips, um, sir clips. I don't know why they're not just regular clips, like in a like a Wiseco kit or something like that. But um, you know, the the wrist pin's kind of heavy duty. It's, it's a lot of weight, actually. It's actually a lot of weight. Piston doesn't really weigh much, though. Uh, you know. You guys are building an engine when it comes down to rotational mass and everything moving around it's a big deal but anyway let's uh let's have a little conversation about this real quick and then um i'll give you guys a couple clues to what kind of quad we got and if you could throw it down in the comment section you might know if you if you know then you just know you're the man throw it in the comments first clue though not a honda you know sadly but um you know we got to broaden our horizons around here so, that's your first clue. It's not a Honda. Let's get into the second clue. All right, so let's get into the clues. <clears throat> I gave you one already. Uh, let's get into the clues for what kind of quad did we get now for the channel. After, obviously, the organ donor 400EX is done, um, <clears throat> give me a little bit of extra time to start amassing parts for this thing. Uh, it does need a little attention. It, it does have a slight damage to uh, a very critical component. Uh, it runs, but uh, for peace of mind's sake, I'm not going to run it the way it is, or uh, I'm not a fan of JB Weld or um, even welding stuff that is a crucial part that keeps other parts on the quad centric to others. So, you know, we're not going to do any of that. Uh, I'm going to look into maybe getting a replacement part from like PSN or if I could find one on eBay or something it, that's in good shape for, you know, a reasonable price. Anyway, I'll quit rambling on. The second clue is it's not air-cooled. There's your second clue. So first clue is it's not a Honda. Second clue is it's not air-cooled. 
when you do, if you think you know what kind of quad this is, which I mean, you know, if you ride quads and you're in the you're into the whole power sports thing. You probably already know what it is. Um, but when you do know what it is, you don't have to know the year. I just want in the comment section, don't write how you know and give other people heads up on how to figure it out. Just write the, the make, the model, and the CC. I'm giving you three clues. I want three answers. So first one, not a Honda. Second one, it's not air-cooled. The third clue that I'm going to give you and final clue is it's uh it's fuel injected that's your third clue not a Honda not air cooled fuel injected those are your three clues the only clues you're going to get uh, I'm not going to put this on the channel for maybe about 10 days or so so you guys got a little bit of time um, obviously after I show it on the channel your clue is null and void. Your, your guess of what kind of quad it is is null and void at that point. I will not accept it. But to get in the runnings to win the 440 EX, the 440 Big Boar kit for a 400 EX, 09 to 2014, it's the, the, the kit I just showed you. I'm going to do a giveaway on that. It's going to go to one of you guys. You have to be a subscriber and you have to guess what the new quad is. Those are the only things I'm asking for. Um, other. I mean, I guess if you want, here, I'll put the I'll put the I'll put the quad right behind you guys so you can turn around and take a look at it real quick. Alright, go ahead. You, you should definitely know what it is now because it's right behind you. It's, it's behind the camera, which would make that behind you, or maybe behind your TV. Um I don't know how, how your you know how your uh, TV area is set up. But there you go. So you should definitely know what it is now. There's no excuses for you to guess that it's something that it isn't. What's going on, guys? Sorry for the interruption, but if you've made it this far in the video, I just want you to know that I appreciate you, and you might as well just subscribe since we're obviously into the same things. So if you're looking for a creator that you can interact with and actually get your comments answered, I am definitely that guy. So I'll see you guys in the garage. Back to the video. Um, <clears throat> we got stickers. Stickers for the channel, guys. These are the ones we got right here they're two inch by three inch they're a glossy finish they have the split backing so you can peel them off easily i did a run of 125 ish of these um after these are gone i am never going to make them again and that's going to be it i will have other stickers made obviously uh but these will never be duplicated again so the ones that are here when they're gone they're gone um you know I'll figure out how to get those to you guys if you're interested in one uh, shortly. Uh, definitely trying to work on the channel. I appreciate you guys. Did I, can't, I can't even talk today, guys. I don't even know why I'm even turning the camera on when I can't even speak right now. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, throw me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, hit you with a bunch of ads and all that crazy stuff i'm just trying to get you guys content on stuff that i am doing anyway whether there's a camera on or not uh one question i do have for you guys is would you rather have um more detailed videos of like step by step like this is what we're doing these are the tools we're using this is how to disassemble it this is how to check if it's wrong or bad or damaged this is how to refurbish it this is how to make it look new but which is the same thing as refurbishing okay um or would you rather just see me just put a video out once every two weeks and i'll just time lapse everything and you know it'll be like one of them videos for whatever reason goes viral you're just watching somebody walk around with music in the background you know at 70 miles an hour um you know I, i'm not gonna lie i watch videos like that too i don't even watch regular tv all i watch is youtube i think it's like the best um base or, or, or um, location where somebody like myself or you can make a video and share it with the world um, or, or whoever's, you know, interested in looking at it. Obviously, most of my content is search based because um, a lot of things are a little bit more specific. Uh, I am I have been shooting some shorts lately. Uh, those are a weird that's a weird thing to get into. It's like when, when you post it, whatever views it's going to get for a day or two, that's it. And then after that, it's just flatline. Um, like the organ donor EX is right now flatlined, but, uh, you know, that'll be, that'll be changed soon. Um, also we might be getting rid of the 426 guys that might be going to a new owner. 
Um, obviously, no money's been put in my hand yet, so it's not over till it's over. Or the fat lady sings or anything like that. Um, but, you know, my, my feelings on that are it was my first quad that I really put a lot of time and effort into. It was a big learning curve with that quad. I think it came out excellent. Everybody that sees it loves it. Um, it's like a brand new O2 400EX in, in my eyes. I think the only thing I really reuse on it other than the frame and the hard parts were like uh, the, the bolts that hold the front shocks in, which, you know, I am trying to find Allen head bolts that will fit that so it matches the rest of the stainless steel hardware on the whole quad, blah, 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 whatever. But if I do get rid of it, I will obviously make a point of view video riding it. Um, the reason it's not that important to me for the channel is you guys didn't really see a whole lot of that. I was building that before I even started the YouTube channel, which is part of the reason why I got the other 400EX, but, you know, this way you guys can see every little thing. So, uh... If you guys made it this far in the video, you're a champion. I appreciate it. I appreciate every last one of you. But remember in the comment section, subscribe, make, model, and size. Those are the three things you got to guess. Not a Honda. It's not air-cooled. And it's lick, uh, fuel injected. <laughs> so those are your three clues, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me in the garage today. Peace out.